Hello and thanks for joining me on the Ghanaian Farmer YouTube channel. My name is Enyonam. On this channel, we bring you insightful news and stories about Ghana's booming agriculture sector. This week, I bring you some exciting news. It's all about WFP's strategy in Ghana, focusing on the importance of agro-processing companies in their quest to address malnutrition and achieve zero hunger. Now let's take a look at how it all started and how it ended. Thanks for watching. <laughs> WFP strategy in Ghana, the current one started in 2019 and it goes to 2023. It was developed based on a, a series of consultations and a, a review that was done by the by the government on the you know, zero hunger strategic review. It uh, supports the food processors or the private sector who are also important in who play a very critical role in addressing malnutrition in the production and availability of specialized nutritious food to combat malnutrition. In Ghana specific is stunting and, and micronutrient deficiencies. You know, under the current strategy that we have 2019-23, we have invested in uh, two industrial uh, food processing companies. One is called uh, Premium Food and one is Yedent. Premium Food started as Let Us Produce Company in 1996. Our major aim for starting premium foods was to look at the hygiene of maize. And we've gone through a lot of uh, changes over the years. And um, this is where we are now. We acquired 100 acres of land at Kwasu Kumasi to build this new factory. Today, we are equipped with over 96,000 metric tons, which is about 2 million 50 kilogram bags each year, making locally produced and special, specialized nutritious foods available and affordable to all in Ghana. It's an important step to prevent malnutrition and enhance the nation's human capital. Implemented with support from the World Food Program, this partnership lays a strong foundation to change the game on innovation in the nutrition value chain. And for us to be able to transform our economy, the key is agro-processing. I'm pleased to learn that this new factory is generating some 120 new jobs, made up of technical and management professionals and is creating thousands and thousands of indirect income earning opportunities for farmers and outgrowers along the value chain. Accordingly, and unknown ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to declare the new factory of Premium Foods Limited duly commissioned. Before embarking on this new program with World Food Program, uh, both Canada and World Food Program looked at the evidence, the data, and it showed us that more than 70% of children in northern Ghana had some sort of nutritional deficiency, including stunting and others. It showed us that 65% of pregnant and breastfeeding mothers in uh, the region also were suffering from micronutrient deficiencies. This was a big part of the driving force for this project, being able to provide fortified foods to meet the needs and to provide a nutritional diet that would uh, allow those populations to fulfill their full potential.
This is again, we continue to provide the necessary capacity to the, to the private sector for them to produce um, specialized food that meets the international standards, not just the national standards, but the international standards. So we build this plant, uh, which is uh, total 18 tons an hour, uh, 12 tons an hour for grits, and also six tons an hour for 45 blended foods. My job here is to ensure that whatever we produce for the World Food Programme, one, will not cause any harm to the intended consumers, especially bearing in mind that the consumers we are sending our products to uh, might not be all that healthy and they might be immunocompromised in one way or the other based on the conditions they find themselves. And so for us here at Premium Foods, the quality bit is a must. We didn't leave our farmers behind. They're a major player when it comes to our operations. But we are very happy to say that the impact that um, it created, because now you go out there and realize some of our women farmers now have their own lands, not necessarily owning it, but they, at least they have a responsibility. They can comfortably say that we have cropped this acreage of land, and as a result of that, we've been able to take care of the education of our children, some who are widows can now proudly say that with our intervention, they've been able to improve on their yields. This vision, is, as I see it, is really going to open opportunities and create jobs, especially for smallholder farmers all across the country of Ghana, who will now have an assured and stable market to which to sell their produce to, and also uh, it's going to help them to improve the quality of the maize that they are producing. My name is Achim Ushie Ejumana, I am Cheye. I am a member of my bro. 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 Right now, we produce um, fortified blended foods. Uh, that is corn and soya bean roasted uh, and extruded and ready to eat with vitamins and minerals. In the area of food security and nutrition, we're particularly interested, based on the data, in trying to ensure that women, children, and the most vulnerable are the ones that are able to access food security and nutrition. So that's the area where we focus. It's very obvious, even with Ghana Health Service data, that we see improvement in underweight among children under two. And our underweight too has reduced it has reduced from 1.5% to 0.5. Nzo ambuta me ne mal pushe ngo kanzi mezo ya. Me ne dil mare no ta fa na pam. Ka chaka am de fine. Ka bi ma gba mara ala fe. Bi ai kuno ko dam da ram pul ma ne. Mezo e ma ne dir ma ko mara ala fe kan gba mala. Imagine Ghana without malnutrition. Northern region without na malnutrition. And then the district in which you are implementing or your community with that malnutrition, how would Ghana be? So we're currently looking into the possibility of securing um, uh, the specialized nutritious food for other countries in the sub-region, at least initially. Potentially, the supplier could also be a WFE, a global supplier that WFE, you know, WFE uh, can purchase. Uh, the required uh, specialized nutrition for other uh, emergency operations or non-emergency operations. I see the potential for this facility to become a producer of uh, products, special nutritious foods that are desperately needed in the West, in our region in West Africa, not just in Ghana, but really in the Sahel, the Sahelian countries, Burkina Faso, Niger, Mali, etc.
I've been very pleased to hear that above and beyond the results that we expected from this project, that World Food Program is preparing to make the first export from premium foods of fortified foods to the Sahelian area. This is a perfect example of the kind of uh, long-term uh, results and impacts that we'd like to see from this project and from other development initiatives in Ghana. And so I'd like to acknowledge the World Food Programme for its business relationship they've had with us. I'd like to acknowledge the Canadian government for being bold to invest in a uh, uh, food processing company in Ghana, I think that's a, it's a bold step and it's been a very successful one. I'd also like to acknowledge the, the Ghana government for that planting for food and job, that decision to take the burden of our shoulders with input credits.